Hey everybody, welcome to another Game Informer video. I'm Ben Hansen. I'm here with Joe Juba. That's me. Ben Reeves. Hello. Leo Vader. Hello. It's a big crew, but it only gets bigger because we're also joined by the wonderful folks down in Illinois. Jackbox, we have uh, Ryan DeGiorgi and Arnie Niekamp on the line. Hey guys. Hey. hey. We're very excited. We did this last year looking at Jackbox Party Pack 3 and we want to make a tr the whole thing a tradition. So we're here with the fourth one, which is coming out when, guys? Uh, it's coming out the week of October 17th. Uh, various platforms, various days in that week. Okay. And I don't have them all memorized, <laughs> but the week of October 17th. Yeah. Uh, it must be a nightmare to line all that stuff up. So <laughs> It's a little oh, it challenging. Yeah. <laughs> I've tuned in randomly to a couple of your streams, and I was trying to understand how the games work, but I'm still confused. So I'm going in purely blind. So you guys need to be our tour guide through what the hell you've been up to for the last year. Oh, we have to answer for ourselves. Oh, yes, yeah. okay. now's the time. I mean, the in reckoning simplest is coming. terms, it's all very true to what we do, where you use your phone as a controller and really our aesthetic of like people in the room entering funny things and uh, sharing them in weird ways. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So where do you think we should start? Uh, we could, well, you just go down the list and do a little bit of, of everything or just start uh, with Monster Seeking Monster? Or? Yeah, sure. Well, let's maybe take a peek at... Uh, Fibbage 3, then. Sure. Okay. I'm very curious. It says featuring, like, a different Fibbage mode. How exactly does this work? That's kind of the exciting thing, is that uh, there's this new game mode called Enough About You, which is a different way to play Fibbage. And uh, it's a sim very similar to Fibbage. You're still lying about the answers and trying to find the real truth. But all the questions about uh, the people who are playing. Can Why we do this one? Do we, maybe should we do Enough About You? Yeah, let's, people know what Fibbage is. Let's jump into Enough About You. It's, it'll be very similar, but mm. you can see some of the cool new stuff. Awesome. And if you're watching this video, uh, don't try and enter the room. You will have missed <laughs> yeah, your window. Yes. We're this very room sorry. This long gone. <laughs> I remember last year, uh, we ended the video and you guys were like, I don't know if we want to do Party Pack 4. It might be time to shake things up. So why'd you decide to, to stick with it and make a new one? You know, it turned out, I think we say that every year where we're like, do we want to do another Party Pack? Do we, does that feel right? Uh, but we kind of, the temperature of the studio was that we had, you know, at least five more really interesting ideas. And it seemed like kind of the thing to do like we definitely were excited about a new take on fibbage and there's a lot of really weird other things we'll show you in a second about this pack that are pretty cool so okay. it seemed like we had enough kind of in the tank you know is it tough to determine that or are you just like on a, you have a big whiteboard and it's like okay i think there's enough good ideas well, here let's go kind of we, we spent a big chunk of the year just example, like coming up paper testing Kleenex weird so ideas and a lot of ideas a lot like more ideas that make it into the game even and usually at the end of the year it's like boy we got a couple great ideas they're just too big to for us to get done in time so sometimes they get delayed to to later years right interesting i get i bet the fibbage vo guys pretty happy with you guys though keep bringing it back <laughs> yes, okay, uh, Cookie, video. a.k.a. Uh, Tom Gottlieb, is a longtime member of Jackbox family. You must have all the recordings you need from him, though. You can kind of remix the words. You don't have to actually bring <laughs> yeah. him in anymore. We just have syllables. Yeah. He's just a robot at this point. <laughs> we just prank call people with him at this point. <laughs> okay, so if we know Fibbage, we should be in good shape here? Yeah, so the first thing we were doing is uh, answering, honestly, some prompts about yourself. Everyone has a different one on your phone. Mm. Uh, uh, you just give your on, honest first impression answer, and basically we're creating the truths for the questions we're about to play after this. Okay, so be honest here. Yeah. Oh. I'm stumped already. <laughs> it's just about <laughs> you, Joe. You know yourself. Just the truth. <laughs> It's tough going from Quiplash or TKO, where you always have the always reliable uh, phallus joke, Joe. Now yep. you have to actually dig deeper. Yeah, I don't know. Don't worry, we'll get to the phallus jokes. <laughs> oh, thank God, thank God. <laughs> we can barely never leave you guys without that. <laughs> so our first question is about Arnie here. What do we think Arnie typed? And the idea is that everybody is going to put in a lie that sounds like something Arnie might have said. Hmm. Hmm. Keep in mind, I'm just a disaster of a person, so really anything <laughs> could be true. So similar to regular Fibbage, where you're uh, putting in a lie about a real piece of trivia, this is about trivia from somebody in the room. You may know them well, you may not. All right, this where's smart. the truth? Hmm. <laughs> All right. <did> Arnie... <laughs> God damn it. 
Hmm. Even I'm not sure if one of those is true. <laughs> I really should be. Man. Wow. This is tough because so many people are going to go for the pure joke all the time. Sure. Right. You think I so? This part. Well, but then it's it's Fibbage again, so you want to go for the real one here. It's a good one. Well, one of the new things oh. about Fibbage this year is that uh, the likes are worth a small amount of points. So uh, if somebody likes your answer because it's funny, you get a couple points for that. Oh, interesting. Okay. Because you must have realized over time that <laughs> every game just descends into people trying to be funny, right? Yeah, absolutely. And that's totally a viable way to have fun with it. Some people just play for the likes cup and they don't really care if they win on, on points. Yeah. Right, right. Honestly, a lot of us are more uh, likes motivated anyway. So yeah. it's not. I can think of it as ascending rather We're, than descending. Yeah. To, uh, <laughs> likes. We're desperate for the likes. <laughs> I always felt like Fibbage was one of the more competitive games. It's the eSports contender from Jackbox. There's so many of them where it's just like, I don't care, let's just have a good time and relax. But some are surprisingly competitive. I want to fill a Chinese arena with people playing Fibbage. <laughs> All right, Ben Hansen's sitcom style catchphrase. Let's see. This art style is great, by the way, guys. Thank you. Uh, Alain Helmers and Allard Laban and Hector Padilla and a bunch of folks. Let's put that out for us. Finish quick before you ruin it for everyone. Uh oh. Oh no. Amazing music. Who's not in? That's, uh... That's right. Okay, find the mm -hmm. truth. I really love the words you guys chose as well. <laughs> Thank you. Finally, some credit for the writing. <laughs> uh. so I'll, I would watch any of the sitcoms. Yeah. <laughs> wow, deep cuts for Game Informer fans here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what you guys picked. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. I'm pitching it. <laughs> oh, wow. there's an apostrophe. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Good job, Leo. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of complaints on the podcast that I say that phrase too much. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Good job, Joe. I'm still here. Huh? You're feeling confident about that one? You know my inner shame? I guess. Okay. I'll be damned. That was just what I would say. <laughs> and Ben gets points for people who got it right because they know him. They know his soul. They know his true, his true essence. Uh, <laughs> should we just for, just because there's so much stuff to get to, yeah. should we move on? Yeah, let's, and let's I don't, get ahead. I don't want to know what Ryan's worst job was. No. It <laughs> wasn't interesting. Don't worry. He can spoil it. <laughs> I Thanks like that. I like track. that like personal flavor that that adds. To yeah, it's bitch. smart because it's always a thrill in previous Jackbox games when you guys would incorporate one of the players into the question. I feel like yeah. that always gets such a positive reaction. It's smart just to make a game just about that. Yeah, cool way sure. to learn more about your friends too. Oh, the coolest. The, the a cool way. <laughs> yeah, finally, it's finally been a cool fun. way. And there's still you know hours and hours of trivia in the regular mode as well. So for people who like that. Yeah, for sure. Okay, survive so the internet. We went to. Yeah. What's this oh, one like? Uh, what? <laughs> Oh, it's her story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who do you think is the real murderer? <laughs> I think the inbox did it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this... Look. Hey, guys, this looks really cool. Yeah, this is probably maybe one of my favorite art styles from the new pack is this sort of retro internet kind of, kind of look. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I have to survive the internet every day. I don't know if I want to play a game focused on it. This will help you practice. <laughs> <laughs> get better at it. Uh, yeah, whoever has... Oh, is everybody me. in? Joe oh, does. There we go. Good job, Joe. Gotcha. So this one was inspired by the hate on the internet? Is that the overall idea? Don't forget you can join the audience. Sort of. It's, oh, it's a little. We almost didn't want to uh, lean to too heavily into that because yeah, the hate on the internet uh, becomes uh, too difficult. Not fun to deal with, yeah. But it's just right. sort of about like kind of uh, making your friends look silly uh, or it's sort of almost blackmailing them by make Hi, by I'm taking their comments out of context. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so so cool. Me, first, we're going to react to a prompt here. Again, just whatever you want to put in is fine. Hey guys, and then uh, the next stage seven, is twisting that prompt, those words, into uh, a different so context. Hmm, okay. Gotcha. Little TKO-ish. Yeah, kind of TKO-esque. Okay. I like that we can say that sentence confidently now. <laughs> Scholars have called it TKO-esque. <laughs> While we ignore this tutorial here, uh, I'm curious what you guys think about Sony's PlayLink initiative, where they're trying to get to the phone game as well. 
That's interesting. Oh, I, I haven't personally Everyone played any of them yet. It looks cool. 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 I feel like it's neat that more people are experimenting this space. in this space. Yeah, I haven't. I want to try it. I have not. I think uh, I'm sure some people are like, are we mad that other people are trying this? But I think it's great that people are trying it. I mean, uh, a rising tide lifts all ships and uh, we're pretty uh, we're pretty happy with the games that we make. And I think if more pe if more people get attention to that, these kind of games exist, it's it's better for everybody. Yeah, yeah. there's plenty of room at our at our party. <laughs> okay, you're getting a prompt okay. on your device. We're all getting Don't prompts here. Your response. Just follow your gut. And do you recommend being silly? Or you recommend being truthful here. The great thing is it kind of works either way. Okay. Okay. So whatever comes to your mind, I would say. Do you recommend answering? <laughs> kind of. The one okay. thing we we're real adamant about is answer. <laughs> Participation is uh, yeah. Okay. I don't like Man being told how to play. <laughs> there, we promise you, there are no war game scenarios where you win by not playing. <laughs> You're getting another player's answer on your device. Hmm. Take these words out of context in the most ridiculous way you can. Okay. Enter a person slash character's name. So we are on like a job network type site, and the idea is that this that somebody has put this in as an endorsement for somebody, and you put in what person this would be funny as an endorsement for. Not necessarily people in the room, but just any no. person. Okay. It can be anybody. Okay. Oh, okay. So like famous people or whatever. Do you got, how many composers do you guys have? Two full time. Yeah, it's, uh, it's insane the amount of uh, music they pump out every year. Yeah, it used to be just one, uh, and now we have two two people. Killing Andy Poland and Brian Chard did this one. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Hmm. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> Definitely full of guts. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> He's not the pedophile one, right? We're cool. We're cool. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Perfect. I suspect something with that guy. <laughs> 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 Deep pop culture cut. Holy cow! Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, wow. <laughs> sure. I question that one. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that's good. Which of these made you laugh the hardest? Mm. Vote now. I'm basically voting on who got burned the worst, or basically just which you find funniest. Okay. okay. Okay, here are the verdicts. That's a bad thing? Here's who twisted your words. It's a bad oh, thing if cool. your name was on it, but it's a good thing if you're the one who wrote it. Ah. And you, the victim, uh, although, you know, everyone points. gets points. I think yeah. you get a little bit of points for being burned. Yeah. Okay. A hotly debated uh, Here's the order topic I think eternally is of uh, scoring, how, the best way to score this. But at the end of the day, it's like, well, what feels good? Everybody gets points. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it's like good it. to have less points, right? In this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> to, uh, yes. This is the goal yeah. of our pack. <laughs> it's called the Hot Shots Jackbox Party Pack Four. <laughs> <laughs> Names open these days. <laughs> yeah. As they were done with it, so we took it. <laughs> Please answer it. Oh man. All right. So we're on a new site now. We got another prompt. seconds don't screw this up uh is the hitchiness just through skype is it is the game itself playing all right for you yeah guys it's running there? beautifully don't yeah. worry it's smooth oh, okay. people are amazed at this frame rate at home i promise <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Uh, yeah it doesn't bother me i just want to make sure it's looking good uh for you guys how much time i got 16. 15 seconds okay 
I normally play the role of the guy who screams out obnoxiously how much time is left, and I always lie just to get everybody Here's moving in the room. Into oh. <laughs> something. Okay, what do we got here? All right. So, what news headline would this be a bad comment for? Okay. Uh, I could have done better. Don't say that, Arnie. It's impossible. <laughs> Do you guys have uh, the internal champions? You do so many streams. Is there one contender that uh, the audience is always excited to see? You know, it kind of varies, especially now when the games aren't out, so people sort of aren't as familiar with them. I, the with Party Pack Four, we've been playing them. You know, kind of had a release with with fans and Monster Seeking Monster, Bracketeering. Mm. It's right. The internet's really strong. It's actually been kind of a widespread, depending on when we stream. Who's Who's into what? Okay. It kind of depends on if people want like a fast, funny thing or mm -hmm. something. I mean, Monster Seeking Monster, I think, gets a lot of requests because it's the most different, but also <laughs> because it takes a little longer, so less people have gotten to play it. Gotcha. The cool thing about Monster Seeking Monster, too, is the audience can actually be a player. <laughs> yeah. That's one reason they want to do it a lot. No, sorry. no. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you with <laughs> laughing at offensive <laughs> comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yo, what oh, terrible man. comment! Holy crap! I thought it was anonymous. What? That's the winner for me. A quote from girls, everybody. How did that become a headline in the first place? <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> what? Let's a news story. <laughs> oh, should we jump out and go to another game oh here, guys? Gosh, that's oh, amazing. Uh, yeah. Okay, Let's great. Just, you guys won't get to see to how many points bitch our child war veterans save whales and then die. <laughs> Biopic. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Just wonderful. All right. Uh, Monster Seeking Monsters. Is that a good one to go to next? Hit it. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Sounds like my love life. No. I mean, that's. That's, I think that's it, the joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in yeah, prom night. Ass <laughs> I'm in prom night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please. Oh. It, this is essentially like a uh, dating game themed uh, game where you're all we're all going to be monsters with secret powers. We're going to chat messages to each other to try to talk each other into going out on dates with us with each other. So uh, okay, so the audience isn't going to be able to see a lot of this. Is the point? Well, the audience will get to see uh, the chat messages when the during the date reveals, or not all of them, but but a good amount of them. Okay. <laughs> this music. <laughs> the music is amazing. It's, this, it's a real, really like, tough race, but this might be my favorite music of the pack. That's really good. Uh, is everybody in? Someone I think should so. have a prompt I, on yeah. the I did. I did. Just thought. making sure everyone could pick their avatar. There we okay. go. Mm, perfect. Is, it, is this the most ambitious one of the pack or oh, just wait. the biggest? It's probably the weirdest, I would it's say. It's the okay. weirdest. I, yeah, the most ambitious in that it's doing the most things we haven't done before. Uh, this instruction is probably kind of useful, actually. Okay, let's, let's pay attention. Six nights of horrific hookups, where you'll try to convince other players to go out with you by sending them secret messages. Each night, you'll chat with other players before locking in the one person you want to date that night. If that person picks you back, you go on a date and both earn a heart. At the end of the game, the monster with the most hearts wins. Usually. Did I mention you're all secretly monsters check your devices now to see your secret powers and how you can earn bonus hearts oh, if you put them what? to good use let's all take a chance on love in a room filled with potentially terrifying monsters. why monsters you guys uh they're adorable okay uh, <laughs> i just seem like a funny weird combination i know i like sort of when the mundane and the uh weird sort of are combined yeah so monsters just sort of like at a singles mixer almost like speed dating trying to date each other just seemed funny <laughs> okay what do we got here so we all have four messages we could send to any of each other uh any sort of funny or weird thing we think is going to get the other person to go out with us there is like <laughs> 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 i can tell there's a hearty some some uh hr complaints uh, on the way okay so we can only send three
And this will be seen on the screen, just to be clear. This will be seen okay. on the screen, yes. It's good to uh, also point out for anyone watching this, there are uh, robust censoring options within the game. So if people uh, if people play it with people, you know, we want to make people be able to protect themselves from seeing stuff they don't want to see in a game, obviously. But also, you know, if you're playing a game with people where you're like, we all just want to write the stupidest, grossest things to each other because we're all into it, more power to you. That's not what I'm writing right now. Never. Right. This is a weird game for no people. Responses. People are going to be bringing this home and playing it with their family, you realize. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. Big Game of Thrones fans. Cool. So if I'm out of messages, then I just wait around? Yeah, I've still got messages left. I was hoping somebody would respond to me, but let me see. Let me park up a different <laughs> Maybe tweet. this is our time, uh, Ryan, me and you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, happening? We, we gravitated towards each other. <laughs> We're a very incestuous crowd up here at Game Informer. That skeleton clock animation is great. Like, we've dated so much in the office. Yeah. Are lost forever. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rips. Cool. This is a weird one, guys. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm yeah, out of chat, is, right? I now, think I was on too. Deciding right, who want to date to pick you for a date. I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, let's see who tricked who. I mean, who picked who. And if you don't get a date, don't worry. This is just the first night. Uh oh. Aww. Oh boy. <laughs> 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 that was quick. Oh, oh, oh no luck. I thought I should have gone along with that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Leo. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no! Yeah, there was no spark there. Oh, you could feel it. You could really feel it on the side of the screen. Stay right there. There's more. <laughs> Yo, my oh, God! Beautiful. Wait a minute. You know, I didn't want to date Ryan, but it seemed like he was the only person I was confident was going to try to date me. Uh, how many times have I heard that in my life? Let's do that awkward thing where we all take a hard look at doing score-wise. It looks like you are currently doing the best, and you're temporarily I'm sorry, Reeves. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoever is in the top spot at the end of the second night of dates will have their monster power oh. revealed. And every night after that, we'll do the same for the so highest If you have a power that maybe monster. you'd rather keep secret, you might want to strategically try not to be winning in this next round. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Oh, just an FYI, there's a full moon out tonight. Maybe that affects you. Probably it doesn't. You can double check your monster ID if you can't remember. Hmm. All right, let's see what happens. We all know how this works by Okay, now. start chatting. Okay. Oh, it's still carrying forward the messages from last time, huh? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So people who dated last round don't have to date the same people anymore? No, you can date whoever you want. There's really no... There's no uh, judgment here. Yeah. In fact, it's more fun if you date other people. But, you know, some powers uh, may, you know, motivate you to date the same people. Some powers might motivate you to date a lot of different people. We really wanted to, like, give people, hey, like, to block just enough of, uh, just enough you can also find of a, the like, button. strategy or a thing to sort of latch onto without feeling like we're overburdening the game with, like, trying to figure out who's what. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love the idea of you guys just starting with the broad uh, design template of Tinder, the game. Like, where do we go from here? Uh, believe it or not, this sort of started off with a combination of us being like, wanting to do like a, a, a secret identity strategy game and then quickly abandoning that and thinking like, 
what cool things you can do with a phone that we haven't done yet, and really just sending messages oh, shoot. Once again, it's time from to phone to phone, phone is something we hadn't fully explored yet and really wanted so, to do. Did okay. you learn any useful life lessons the first night? We'll find out. Uh, uh, we'll see what happens. It's date time. All right, fingers crossed. <laughs> Zing. There's nothing more romantic than a threat. <laughs> I'll oh, it works out. Oh my god. Wow. Looks like oh. someone Arnie just turned around for once in your life. <laughs> so that means Hanson was going for Arnie? Desperately. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <not a> match. <laughs> Everyone saw oh. that coming. I'm sorry, Ryan. I was already committed. Oh man, guys, this is going to lead to some really weird party dynamics. I oh, love the idea well, of like I'm pretending you're going to date we'll someone off. who's in the because lead. Because they didn't date. Well, well, I'm sorry, you both were talking. <laughs> What'd you say, Ryan? Well, I've been legitimately mad at people in the office for days because they didn't date me. I'm excited <laughs> to find out what Joe is. Yeah, what's Joe? A power. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> 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 it's, 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 it's okay. The vengeful ghost starts the game with a bonus heart. When the vengeful ghost asks someone on a date and gets rejected, that person. Whoa! Oh, interesting. That again, good leverage. Yeah, that's a really smart one. Revealed player by hitting the info button on their chat screen. That's cool. Should we move on to another game, guys? Yeah, yeah. This, I mean, everyone has these different powers, and there's a lot going on. But we would it'd take way too long to really dig into it. Let's okay. uh, check out bracketeering next. Yeah, time. for sure. Yeah, it's like the Jackbox for sampler. Yes, exactly. Look, we want to save the big reveals for when people play at home. For oh, what the hell? This looks like it has a unique style. Yes, bracketeering is very fun. It is sort of well, you'll it'll be pretty obvious right away. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I don't want to belabor it. It's gonna okay. be real fun when you see it. Sixteen. Oh, we want to explain up top is that it's definitely gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bracket game, and uh, sixteen people can play to fill out the full bracket. That's huge. I'm gonna works with smart too. I'm a pretty rad looking robot. By uh, wanting people to have strong opinions about really dumb things, basically. <laughs> Good oh, luck the with internet. That. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've got big fun waiting to be unleashed. We'll be posing some of life's most important questions. Your I think this is the interface for the Super Nintendo Classic. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the art on this. We got one early, we <laughs> stole it. <laughs> As we whittle down to our championship winner, this is Bracketeering. I'm sending the topic of our first bracket to your devices now. Oh boy. Most satisfying thing to type on a typewriter over and over <laughs> when you're slowly losing your mind. <sighs> Enter your answers now. Type in the best answer you can think of and hit send. If your answer wins the entire bracket, you'll be rolling in moolah. By the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to jackbox.tv and entering the room code. Time's running out. Oh, it's cool. It shortens all the names. Yeah, sort of arcade style. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. Joe and Arnie. The answers are being paired off into one on one matches. Wow, that, is... that means it's time to introduce Short. ourselves to the production. Yeah, it does not give you much time. On your device, you'll see one of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. If you can predict the answer that will get the most votes, you could win some sizable oh bonus my gosh. points. This is what I'm trying to do during uh, Quiplash, anyway. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so the fun sort of additional thing to think about is you might you want you're betting on what you think is going to get the most votes, which may not be the one you wrote, but you still get points for uh, picking the uh, winner. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are both really strong. <laughs> I like both of those a lot. Oh man. <laughs> oh no! Uh, oh, the there's no vote. justice. Come oh, on. You can vote as much as you want. You can change back and forth right up until the end. Just oh, that's how smart. The shining would be. If, that's if, cool. Uh, he'd been writing, I am very sane, by the way. <laughs> oh, he's fine. Yeah. She wouldn't have suspected a thing. <laughs> All right, who won? All right, Leo pre correctly predicted that one. Nice. Good job, Leo. Our next matchup. 
<laughs> is that the uh, musical scale mnemonic? I th it's something like that if it's not that. I, I think it's every oh. good boy does fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm not a musical lad. I learned it is every good boy deserves fudge. Ah, yeah, that's much better. Oh, this is how you do. Okay. Oh, tap on your answers quickly as possible. Oh my gosh! This is the most action you guys have ever had. It's exhaust. I'm gonna lie. Yeah. I'm a silly goose. Oh, what? Who didn't tap? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a silly goose. I you lost that prediction. Final. I like how indignant people can get about this stuff, like in Quiplash. Like, what are you idiots doing? How is that one funnier? You went for the dick joke again? <laughs> there we go. Oh. Cut out. Oh. What? Just kidding. <laughs> Got me. Oh, that wind was so big, you could hear it in the next state over. We are going to be thinking about that typewriter ink joke for, like, <laughs> please. Oh, uh, driving home. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? And now, our last two contenders <laughs> face off. Stupid. <laughs> Guys, this is stupid. <laughs> this is, that's, is, that's the only reaction we wanted. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this anymore. An upset in the making. Oh. It doesn't get any closer than that. No one could have predicted Whoa. this one. Whoa. Shocking yeah. upset. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. dispensive. It's going to be on the uh, time to make on, another on the coop, prediction. Jared. <laughs> hmm. Hey, you got a new matchup waiting for you on your device. Predict the oh. one you think is going to win. Battle of the Champions coming up here. Hmm. I'm all in. I think I'm half in. I think I'll go ahead and be all in. And all the prediction stuff is, a lot of it is also just to really invest people in certain answers and is really just to encourage more yelling in the room and people right. like just having arguments over these dumb things. Yeah, yeah. that's a sweet spot for the entire studio is just encouraging arguments and screaming in the room. If if our uh, CEO, Mike Builder, he hears loud yelling or loud laughter, he comes in to see what's happening. Oh, nice. That's how we judge what games are going to the back. Oh, yeah, perfect. just sort of prototyping something. It's usually a sign, like, if it's just getting a big reaction, like, the more noise there is in the room, usually the better sign. Yeah, yeah, worth. definitely. Do you find that people tend to, like, if one's totally dominating, they switch sides just so the other person who wrote that didn't feel bad? Oh, interesting. I definitely see people creating some tension by switching. Yeah. To sort of, yeah, to do something like that for sure. Interesting. How much iteration do you guys go through to come up with stuff like the, the voting? Does a game a come out fully spirit. formed? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what do you mean, Riz? Uh, well, it's just like when you come up with the concept, you use it like, that's it, that's exactly how the game's going to work. Does it change a lot through development? Oh yeah, I think we tend to iterate quite a bit, unless we unless we say like, oh, this is the heart of it. It's working perfectly now. But we almost always try other things for. Yeah, we work very fast. So during like the paper testing and prototype early prototyping stage, things can change very dramatically. Mm -hmm. um, but then they kind of get locked down, and just sort of depending on time, you know, we work very fast making all these games. So sometimes we have to make really fast pivots, but um, but generally things kind of stay the same. Once we start getting deep into production, yeah. Yeah. But the paper test is probably where the most, yeah. I agree. Mm. Uh, who's the final winner here? Oh, these oh. are both very strong. Okay. <laughs> this is... Stop this it! This is good. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> really create some stupid tension here. Oh, boy. <laughs> and then accidentally voting for the one they want. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. That's great. You Amazing. guys are move on to the next game. <laughs> it's probably worth playing just a little bit of the next round because we change it up a bit. Yeah, oh, there's okay. another, there's an, another kind scores. of big trick to this game we haven't seen yet. Although I don't know how much time we have uh, on your guys' end. I think we're doing okay. Yeah, yeah, we can do it. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go pick up our Super Nintendo Classics, but we can push that off. <laughs> oh boy, I don't want to be responsible for not you guys not getting this. <laughs> it's time for the blind, blind bracket. bracket. All you'll be given is the category. Oh. Name any classic book. Oh, God. Mm. Go ahead Thanks. and write the first thing that comes to mind. We'll see the real bracket title after you answer. Mm. So n don't be jokey here. You know, it's up to you, really. Yeah, whatever you want, really. Okay.
time's running out. Oh my gosh. Uh, three seconds. Two seconds. Five seconds. <laughs> I did not write a book. <laughs> <laughs> it finally revealed Game Informer does not know any book. <laughs> uh, issue number 412. <laughs> All right, and the mist. real title is the best book to have on your shelf purely to impress people. That's pretty good. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Moby Wang is maybe <laughs> in the right <laughs> answer. <laughs> Let's start with a bang. Mm. Mm. I don't know if I'd be impressed by 1984. Yeah, come on. I'd be impressed if someone has a what rare misspelled Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> 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 hey guys, really though, if you think about 1984, talk about protecting the future. Just there's a lot of truth in that book, is all I'm saying. Yeah. Nice thing. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> that was a now year. I'm impressed. <laughs> that actually happened. Yeah, they predicted that year was going to happen. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> I think I know what one was Haynes. <laughs> you try writing toll booth in one second. <laughs> yeah, the Phantom to Pitolet. In some way, we're all Phantom to Pitolets. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm impressed, but I think he hand wrote these books. I think this is a real book. I hear the movie adaptation of Phantom to Pitolet is really going to be good. I like if it's like a monk with the ancient Bibles, like rewriting it every time, but they just butch it. Watch Hasn't it, heard of the say? Gutenberg Press. What? Oh wow! Uh -oh. That's amazing. Okay. It should have told you. Uh, you. It, it'll warn you if you have the same as someone else. But maybe if you're running out of time. Maybe. Yeah, you did it right the last second. Because usually it says someone else has entered this. Are you sure you want to do it? Maybe one of those is a zero instead I of I like no. purple right. better than. <laughs> I think, I think it's I just who's winning, though. <laughs> it is weird how much one is really doing much better than the other. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going to happen, so. I want to be on the losing side. Uh, smart, Leo. It's time to <laughs> God, I wish it was weighing in peace. <laughs> oh, boy. I want Moby Wang to go up with <laughs> Well, this is good, but you think you think we got the idea of this new category then? Yeah, it's probably. Yeah, it, it sort of. Es I mean, this is uh, you kind of get the idea. It sort of escalates from there, in, in like the third round, like the category keeps changing from as the bracket moves on. So, oh. like the answer you put in will have to compete in a number of different sort of categories that get weirder and weirder. Okay. Uh, but that's essentially the idea. Gotcha. Civic Doodle. Civic Doodle is the drawing game uh, of our pack here. The idea is beautifying a small weird town by helping complete their town murals. Huh. Do you guys feel like every every pack needs at least one drawing game because it's become quite popular? Not necessarily, but I think if we have a good idea that makes sense for a drawing game, it's a plus to have it in there. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, you know what? I think I need to step away for a minute. So if you okay, can yep. kind of finish. Sorry, I got a kind of just a little uh, phone call I have to answer. Okay, yeah, I go for it, man. Draw on Arnie's phone and make <laughs> the stupidest drawings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so I guess everyone's in then. Does someone have the button? We're good. There we go. Perfect. I like the live drawing in there. Yeah. That's new. Yeah. Yeah, that's new. So uh, you'll be able to watch people draw and uh, actually react in real time here. Oh, wow, that's cool. Huh. More pressure than ever. Of <laughs> <laughs> the Health says it's okay to serve it again. Thank you all for volunteering or being court ordered to participate in our town beautification initiative. Remember, non-volunteers can still make a difference by joining the audience. The mayor Gold wants to turn all less. the drab white walls in the town into <laughs> colorful community art projects. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? That's right, Lucille. That's not my name, sir. Mm. And I know just where to start. Right here. As you can hmm. see, this mural is already in progress. Okay, everybody, Mrs. let's be Palmer classy Boy about Lee this. Boy started <laughs> this, but he got distracted by a weird dog before he could finish. How can you not finish something you start? You know, it's like you start it and then you... We believe in a little thing called <laughs> democracy stuff, around Ryan. here. So I'll let two of you make <laughs> additions you. to the and your fellow volunteers will vote on who made it better. All right, so we're up first. 
Mm. Oh, oh, man. And I'm keeping you on a short timer to make sure you don't overthink it. Okay, everybody. Ready? Set? What? Oh, go! <laughs> and we can draw whatever we want off this base drawing. There's different colors. There's uh, oh different gosh. line thicknesses. There's a million options well, here. Drawing, yeah. The rest of you can express your feelings about their work with the buttons on your device. That's pretty good. I like the vegetable one. Oh. Time's running out. <laughs> Finish up quick. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. Wait, I sense a theme. <laughs> Look, when the obvious ones ruled out, you can only have so many to go with. <laughs> I was really hammering on the poop button for that one. Good yeah, job. as you guys uh, quickly found out, you can react to people's drawings with the little emojis, Smart. and we give you a little bit of bonus if you have uh, the most of a particular one. Oh, really? That's cool. Thanks, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan got 37 turds as well as the most votes. Congratulations, sir. It was the turds. I love turds, though. Yeah, true. Big fan of turds. This is as good as a turd. <laughs> That's what they say when you love it. This is a turd good drawing we got here. <laughs> I'm having a real... Uh, I'm back, guys, by the you way. You can't Sorry, polish a turd because it's wang. so good. <laughs> <laughs> having a real turdy day. That means it's great. Welcome back, Arnie. Now let's see what you two can do. You've so a mine drawing one, so now you guys have to add something to that. Mm. Uh, oh, really? Oh, boy. Oh, colors. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, no one's God. Gone the, uh, the coloring route yet. Okay, I think that's really good addition on the left there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it warns me that I'm up next. I like that. <laughs> What? Now time. Oh, oh yeah, I like that. I don't Whoa. know what, Whoa. What, what's happening. <laughs> I ran out of time. I really don't know what I'm looking at for either of these. It's, it's, it's like basketball. It's nose picking on the oh basketball. Oh, oh, oh that's a basketball on this one. Oh my god, I thought it was great. Hey, screw you guys. Good job, Ben. Are you, were you turning him into Pikachu for a little bit? Or I was, was like it? trying to draw a little tear yeah. tattoo. Oh, <laughs> oh no. okay. It, I got wow. it. Wow. That does well, nose picking is going to kill a person. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right into the brain. Okay, let's see what you two can do. Uh, so you just keep adding to the same ones, huh? That's cool. Yeah, Some of these. You'll have a new mural for the town, and we can see it in action here. Do you ever just have. Oh. Am I drawing? Good you guys God. are both sucking it up. That's where all these oh, turds sorry. are coming from. Yeah, just tons of turds. <laughs> turds everywhere. Do you ever have anybody just uh, nuking the world and just scribbling over the entire drawing? Oh, yeah. We definitely have that when people are trying to sort of troll, but it usually doesn't get voted for. Right, right. Okay, that's why I stopped, because I was still trying to get your juicy votes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moment of truth. Okay, you know, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was at night? <laughs> nice, funny, right? It's when silly things happen. This is because everybody's working on the same drawing, if somebody uses too much of the canvas, even if it's good, you don't vote for it because you're like, well, I can't add to that. Mm, right. Interesting. Hmm. All right, so we've got... Okay. Okay. Ooh, I like the <laughs> Now we're talking. And now oh, we're God. playing Jackbox. <laughs> <laughs> I really hit peak Jackbox now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That might be the most impressive basketball trick I've ever seen. Effing <laughs> <laughs> a basketball? <laughs> Is, I assume it's still spinning. <laughs> I assume also that these are both just very long guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's only natural. Oh, man. I deserve no votes for that compared to Lovely. <laughs> I love just seeing the process of slowly committing to drawing the wang. <laughs> it is really fun and satisfying to be able to watch people actually do the drawing. Yeah. Uh, that's something we definitely wanted to get in, uh, rather than just having the draws as reveals to have them. Uh, you can, then essentially, if someone's like, oh, what the heck, you can actually change related to what's happening in the room. You can try to fix your drawing so they'll like it more. Right, right. And it's the last one. This is the big, uh, big finish. <laughs> I think he should have a lot of wounds. <laughs> oh, is that what's happening? <laughs> I don't know. He's contracted a horrible disease from F and F basketball. <laughs> <laughs> What the <laughs> <heck>? <laughs> I don't know. Process that. Oh, God. 
They're both uh, the really smart. Have its own. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I should have gone for the second penis coming out of the penis with the basketball and then the penis coming out of the basketball. You really should have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Born Don't, yesterday, you idiot. Oh, what the hell? I think this, this is textbook. <laughs> this needs a title. Use your device to suggest one. Now the easiest mm. task of the game. Obviously, this has an obvious title. We should give it. Oh my gosh. So of course. Try, yeah. Okay. Something really captures the beauty. Oh. I don't know. Oh man. Reeves, that's the most confident inducing thing. Okay. Pick your favorite and vote. <laughs> <laughs> Similar themes, alright. There's some Oh, these are some great. Yeah. These are great. There's no bad choice. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> of course Jordan <laughs> takes it, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh. smart. God damn it, that's oh, smart. That's real good. Ugh. Well, you guys really beautified the town. We really did it. Well, that is a that is a thorough look at Jackbox 4. Can you order those postcards? Um, <laughs> um, if you can order that hot air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys get a cut of the TKO t-shirts that were ordered? Uh, yeah, we're selling them. I mean, like, the... Yeah. The vendor and and we get the uh, get the profits on. Can that. you compare the you know slice of the pie of TKO T-shirt profits versus overall Jackbox Party Pack three profits? It paid for at least a pizza party. Right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> more than we expected. You're oh, welcome. Damn, that's impressive. Wow. <laughs> uh, but it mostly exists just because like we just think some. Thing like that is a we just are, are we think it's fun to have that out in the world. You yeah, know? totally. Yeah. Oh, it absolutely. Really, for the amount of work, it doesn't uh, necessarily bring in that much money, but it's just fun that people can do it. And yeah. we're definitely working on that kind of thing for this pack, although we're not one hundred percent sure where we're landing with it yet. Okay. Yeah, it seems like uh, yeah, it's still TBD. Exactly what you're going to be able to do with that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, cool. Hey, but, congratulations, uh, guys, on uh, on coming out big on the on the Switch. It's cool to see all the games out there now. Thank you. Yeah, I I was excited about that. I have a Switch, and I I it's a lot easier to take places and you know show people, which is pretty great. Um, but yeah, we were very excited to be on there. Yeah, you're one step closer to the dream from last year, I think, where we we're trying to argue that you guys should make the next Mario Party game. Mm. Yep. Oh. I need to get a meeting with Waluigi on the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, cool. Uh, so coming out sometime around the middle of October on everything that has a screen. Is that right? Absolutely. The uh, week of October 17th. It's definitely the week of October 17th, but it sort of varies by a day here and there by platform. Yeah, but jackboxgames.com has these specific dates. Yeah. Awesome. We're really looking cool. forward to it. And again, you guys are doing the Lord's work down there. We, You have... <laughs> <laughs> livened up parties across the world and few game developers can say that absolutely I, I no longer fear thanksgiving evening when i'm hanging out with my family and i'm like <laughs> oh finally something to do with them <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much that's all that's that is what it's all about uh, that's our favorite like on the holidays like i i cannot resist checking on twitter just to see how many people are like all the funny things people tweet about playing like you will not believe the really gross thing my grandmother played. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to f me hard in monster no. seeking oh, monster oh no <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. Uh, so your well, twitter hey. played jackbox party pack found out grandma's a freak <laughs> and a werewolf <laughs> A werewolf. Awesome. Ryan Arnie, thank you so much for your time, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah, yeah. thanks for having us. It's always fun. Absolutely. And thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.